In our management courses, um, we, we, we all teach that strengths perform. But what about this simple new idea that strengths do more than perform, they transform. So many companies, they think, will do a low morale survey to document the low morale in order to create a high engagement and highly energetic and passionate company. And it's just not going to happen. Why? All the studies in the world of low morale will not tell us one thing about what creates the high engagement, high commitment work system. What Appreciative Inquiry is doing and the positive psychology work that's happening um, and research that's very sound, it's, it's, it's reversing that. It's staying instead of 80% of our attention on what's wrong, what's broken, on depression and so on, that leading change is all about strengths. That's all. You know, it has nothing to do with weaknesses. When I talk with CEOs and executives in every industry today where there's just um, white knuckle change, where there's un totally unexpected change, change for which most of these institutions and organizations are scarcely prepared and have no roadmap. So I think we're living in a time where, um, where it's imperative to have an eye that can appreciate, an eye that can see and surface the true, the good, the better, the possible, everything that brings asset and strength to a system. So one very important part of appreciative inquiry is a set of theories and tools and research all about the elevation, concentration, connection, creating new combinations and chemistries of strengths in a way that builds more positive institutions that bring our highest human strengths to the customer to the world and so on. There are two basic paradigms how change in any system, in individual or collective, can be brought about. One way is to treat all situations as a kind of a problem. So the alternative approach is yeah, let's, first of all, let's get away from this thing about problem. That if we are in this situation, but there must be some good in it. There must be some reason why we are here. So let's try and take that perspective. Let's find out what's good about the current situation. Let's try and value whatever is the best about us. The problem is, is a great question. Um, we certainly have problems in organizations. In the organization that I'll, I'll be talking a little bit about next, so we looked at we want to improve retention rather than fix turnover. And that gave us uh, something to move forward to, something a light that we can move forward to rather than uh, questions that would bog us down fixing something. Here's, uh, here's the story of our office, and then uh, I'll start with the end, and then we'll talk about the journey to get there. But, uh, our firm is Jefferson the Wells, it's a global firm, and we have 50 offices around the world, 25 where we take profit and loss and revenue to. Out of those uh, 25 offices, uh, when I began in 2005, we were 12th in income, vacant in revenue, 6th in employee retention, 6th in employee engagement, vacant client satisfaction. These were actually pretty good numbers when you consider we were in Detroit compared with London or Delhi or New York or many other offices that are multiples of the size of Detroit. So, so we were considered, this was considered a very good office when I took it over. So it's not a story of a turnaround, even though this looks kind of like a turnaround. This is really a story of building on something that was already very good. Okay, and here were the overall results. Changing financial uh, position, we, we grew to, uh, over those four years, 2005, 6, 7, 8, we grew to 25% combined annual growth rate in income, in revenue, and employee turnover, again, the key driver for all of this was we went from 32% turnover to 7% turnover, which was pretty dramatic for our firm because you know, our, our firm over the years, those years, uh, turnover kind of went up over the, the same period. So anyway, it was a real time for celebration for us. You know, and, uh, after our first year, we won uh, an award given across Manfire, which is our parent company. Uh, is power work for operational excellence. And then the next two years, we won our, our the, um, the two top awards in our firm, Office of the Year. We're also named as one of the three best places to work in Michigan. 